I'm Hannah, I'm from Rochester, New York. Mr. Movich's lecture is really interesting because it's just talking about life rather than like business itself and I think my biggest takeaway was like you can do anything as long as you spend the time and like the work towards doing it. My name is Patrick and I'm from Wheaton, Illinois. In my opinion what Mr. Movish was mostly speaking about was a little bit more of an ethical standpoint on success instead of a analytical or logistic standpoint of where he came from etc. He actually did share his own personal life story slightly with us and I definitely appreciated that because it gave a little bit more of an example of where he came from and how he got there. He more so talked about the mindset that he had to obtain, the people who got him there, and I definitely appreciated that because me as a up and coming entrepreneur, hopefully, and as a teenager, there's definitely a lot of prominence of people who are, should be role models in my life. And I think it got me thinking of who I should have as a role model in my own life. It, and I definitely am starting to think a little bit more about modesty in my own life as well. My name is Glenn Movish. Uh, I'm the owner of the Asset Management Group in Northbrook, Illinois. One of the most important things is um, understanding that the romance is in the journey, that they're going to do a lot of different things, that their passion very well may find them instead of them having to define that so early in their lives, and that uh, understanding that really the climb up the hill is certainly more important and more and, 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 and better for you than actually, let's say, being at the top of the hill. We talked about grit and we talked about long-term focus being and the idea that, uh, that you can grow and daily improvement. And then the other thing is, is I think that people need to understand and spend time working on their personality, working on the people, understanding the people that they want to lead, under, whether they're in sales or whether they're in management or whether uh, they're working for a not-for-profit, but people need to understand themselves and they need to really spend time understanding the other people. If they do that, I think that they'll be better for it and people will follow and people will accomplish what what they want.